Hey y'all, Cam Walker, Texas agent here. I am sitting down on this beautiful Hill Country morning with my friend and neighbor, Shauna, who just happens to be a loan officer. Um, she yeah. is now with First Centennial Mortgage yes. and there are some changes coming to the mortgage world. So I wanted to bring mm -hmm. Shauna on and uh, talk a little bit about what's happening. So yeah. how are you this morning? I'm great, it's, it is a beautiful morning. Um, so we in the mortgage industry have some big news coming. So on September 8th, Fannie Mae, which dictates how we do our underwriting decisions and stuff, they have changed the way we will view credit scores. Um, so currently when we pull credit on, a borrow, on two borrowers, we um, pull the primary borrower and pull the co-borrower's credit scores and we typically take the mid score of the lower borrower. So, for instance, if we had um, one borrower with a credit score of like 650, 700, and 710, and then their co-borrower had credit scores of about, um, you know, 605, 615, and 620, we would have to use that 615 credit score. And what this does is it, we can't go conventional, we would have to go FHA. And so, which FHA is a great program. Um, but sometimes right now in this market, there's not a whole lot of options out mm -hmm. there. And so now, September 8th, we will be able to take the credit scores and we'll take those mid scores and we'll be able to average them together and come up with a new score. So we would take our 615 and our 700, average them together and come up with a new score of uh, 657. And then what that does is that throws you into being able to qualify conventional. And so this is really great for our clients that are, you know, that want to put in an offer on a house and maybe in this market right now, you know, it's more competitive to go conventional, um, even though FHA is great. And so they're able, you're able to put in that offer for them uh, going conventional now. And this starts September 8th. Yes. So say somebody has already put in and had credit run yesterday. This change is coming. Can they re-pull credit? Does it? So we'll, um, great question. So we will we kind of, kind of look at their file again and rework everything and um, you know average those scores and re redo their file basically okay and um, get them going conventional and qualifying conventional yes yeah. what is that kind of break point to go from FHA to conventional so Fannie Mae says 620 so 620 is kind of that breaking point um, we kind of have tiers with the with the credit score so the higher your credit score and the better you are with your interest rate and so we just we have those points where you know your debt to income is just right and your credit score is good, your interest rates are better. Um, going FHA is a great. There's a little bit of a misconception about it. It is a great program. Um, it you know it helps the buyers, especially mm -hmm. these first time home buyers who um, are trying to get into their first homes and they don't have a whole lot to put down. It allows them to put 3.5 percent down and um, and just really get into a home. Right. Um, whereas conventional, if you're a first time home buyer, you still have the options to put less down and stuff. Um, but you know, there's mortgage insurance and it just, there's mm -hmm. everything p plays a factor. And so we just, it's really individualized for the client. It, um, it really is individualized for them and how, um, which program's the best for them going forward and stuff. So if we have both to be able to look at, then they can make a decision on which is best for them. For them. And then later on, they can always look at refinancing and, and, oh, and doing all that. Yes. But it gives them more options to fit their budget, their family. Their, they're not just stuck with one program. Right. It gives them a whole lot more options, which opens it up a whole lot more when we put in the offers. Yeah, so that's absolutely. awesome. And this goes into effect Wednesday. Wednesday, September 8th. 8th. Yes, so yes. And um, so any other questions? So how is, what are y'all seeing in the mortgage world right now? Is it slowing down? Is it still going strong? I mean, what are we seeing in, in this market, um, San Antonio, whole country area? So interest rates are still really amazing. Um, the market is, you know, it's kind of evening out. It's slowed down just for a tiny bit, uh, but we're, everybody's going back to school, mm -hmm. getting back into that routine of, of life and not summer, right? <laughs> so, I know I'm Darn definitely it. there. <laughs> um, so, we're seeing, you know, everything's still moving. People are still making offers. The, you know, it's, it's still a strong market. It's still strong out there. And so it's still, everybody's moving on it. Are you hearing anything more, more 
here. Mortgage rate wise, are we hearing any any changes coming? Or are they? So interest rates will start creeping up. We don't know exactly when, but we do get our little alerts that maybe if you've been holding on to something that you didn't want to lock, hoping they go down, that maybe look at locking them because they could be creeping up. Um, not by much, maybe quarter eighth of a point, um, but you know, depending on what you're buying, that could be change you know, change your whole game. So now, if you lock today, then the Wednesday, September eighth doesn't really play doesn't, effect. Right. So it, it kind of depends on where you're at. Again, making the, the right choice for you, for your family, for you know what you're looking to buy. Um, it's kind of a weird. Anytime something new is coming, you're like. Do I wait? Do I not wait? You know, what do Absolutely. I do? So, um, but that's where Shauna is great, where you can talk to her, you know, call her. She will walk through scenarios with you. She will send you uh, several options. She'll go change them. Um, that's that's the nice thing about having a relationship with a loan officer, somebody that's local that you can talk to that knows the market. Yeah, would well, you agree? I would. I definitely agree. <laughs> I I love running those numbers for my clients. Um, I actually I just did one last night for one who. They put in an offer and they were kind of standstill with the, the buyer and um, I actually ran numbers for them to show them like, if you really love this house, you don't want to lose it over $50 a month. And so um, they were actually able to come to an agreement. I woke up this morning to some text messages saying, we, we nice. got it, we, we came to an agreement. So um, I am happy to run those numbers if you're on the fence about anything and walk you through the whole process of like, this is why and this is how. and. Um, you know, if you're in doubt about any of it, I can, I can get you through it. And so perfect. And we're going to have all of Shauna's information at the end of the video, and it'll also be down in the description. So if you are looking, <coughs> dog, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> there's probably a bicyclist going by the street or something. So yep, that's what happens when you do this at home. Absolutely. Well, Hey, I wouldn't change it for the world, right? <laughs> I wouldn't either. I wouldn't either. So I'll have Shauna's information. Um, if you guys have any questions for her, you can certainly reach out to her you can reach out to me Curtis we're all here to help you um, we're very excited about this change and hopefully you are too yeah absolutely y'all have a great day